If I can say it's not my parents or grandparents' fault that I felt shamed, shunned, and abandoned, then it is equally as able for women to say it's not men's fault that they felt sidestepped, second class, and silenced. I was indoctrinated into a, into a society that taught me to look elsewhere for the answers instead of my own feelings. I was ridiculed and shamed into not stating my needs, voicing my perception, and choosing to trust my own self. As I stood there, metaphorically, naked and shivering, fighting my own self within, wishing, hoping someone would set me free by pressing the button that said validated or worthy, I grew more and more resentful as the years went on and no one had the sense to understand what was going on. No one would save me. No one would, would validate me, no matter how hard I tried to please. So I pressed the button my own self. This is how women feel. Silent, silently playing along to a game they don't believe in. Getting the likes and approvals with their bodies and silently resenting the fact that they have to do that. Resenting men and society. Hoping someone would save them by pressing the button designated worthy. It's a miracle to drown on dry land, don't you think? Then if they're too pretty, they're called names which I won't mention here. At any rate, they resent diminishing themselves, and they resent the possibility that they could be something great. So you choose catch-22 choice one, or catch-22 choice two, and neither one of them is satisfying. So why not create a choice three? The only hope for value, oh, I messed up, but it's okay. What I was going to say is, their only hope for value is to create fanaticism out of men, a frenzy of attraction, like sharks on a feeding frenzy in chummed water. Hardly a trophy of, valida of validation, I'd say. So, here's choice number three. Why not cut out the middleman and or the shadow woman? Face your shadow and silently validate yourself. It's the only way you'll be continually validated. Therefore, weaning yourself off of the auxiliary supply which is a temporary fix from outside sources, meaning other people. Quell the screaming toddler inside by coming home to her. You are her guardian. Validate her and allow her to teach you. You don't have to make an enemy out of yourself, society, or men. There are no enemies when you are in your true home.